Welcome, Welcome to Own or Disown, where tech decisions are made easy. easy, 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 easy. Hi, this is Stephen from Own or Disown. While it's in the US, the next-gen laptops go on sale next week. There are guys around the world that actually have them now. There's a YouTuber called 421 Gadgets. He tested the 2023 Helios 16 with an i9-3900HX CPU that has 24 cores, 32 threads, and a 165 watt RTX 4080, 32GB of DDR5, 4800 MHz RAM, and 2TB SSD in RAID 0 that have great read and write speeds of 12,451 and 9,721 megabytes per second, respectively. Now, personally, I would like to have a single 2TB drive and a spare slot for expansion, but there's no denying that is fast. He doesn't say what power setting he uses in his testing, and two of the games he tested were severely CPU bound by the settings he used, so one cannot gain a true understanding of how the RTX 4080 compares to the current GPU such as the RTX 3070 Ti. But he did do three tests that did shed some light on this. First is Red Dead Redemption 2. He did test at 2560 by 1600 and these are the settings that he used. Now I replicated this using my MSI GE77HX attached to an external display. That laptop has an i7-12800HX CPU and an RTX 3070 Ti. I show side by side a scene from the inbuilt benchmark that shows the difference. And you can replicate this yourself on the system that you have. Now the RTX 4080 mobile chip got 90 FPS and the 150 watt RTX 3070 Ti got 64. That makes the 4080 40% faster. One thing I did notice in this footage was that the 4080 fluctuated from say 108 watts to 130 watts. So I suspect he wasn't using the high performance profile. I can imagine at 165 watts this performance would be bigger. The next test was Time Spy. The RTX 4080 had a graphics score of 16,210. This was 18% faster than the 3080 Ti and 31% faster than the 3070 Ti. Now I, I have overclocked my 3070 Ti to give 12,900 points before, but still that makes it 25% faster. Finally was the Blender benchmark using the GPU. The RTX 4080 sees an, on average a 62% gain over the RTX 3070 Ti. So for GPU acceleration work, it looks like a nice win. As for the i9-3900HX, unfortunately, due to the lower power settings that he likely used, we can't really get a you know, good feel on how this performs. Fortunately, we do have some data on the i9-3980HX, which scores 31,017 in Cinebench R23 multi-core test. Now, his 3900HX was comparable to the 1200HX, which has less threads. So unless Acer is using something like a PL1 of 65 watts, he must be using a lower power setting. Single core performance was also behind the 12800HX, which is disappointing. This was also reflected in the Times by CPU score, where it hung out with the 12700H, which has 10 less cores and 12 less threads. As for PC Mark 10, which tests a broad range of PC real-world applications, the Helios 16 scored 7164 points, compared to the 7,899 on my GE77HX. Now also, HI Devolution will be sending a new machine to me, so please let me know, you know, go on their website and let me know which one you'd like to see. Make sure you're subbed up to watch all my latest reviews on these next-gen laptops. Thank you for watching. Bye now.